that they've added the feature selection by color, so you can, uh, you know, I'm I'm assuming that you can, you can go in there, you can decide what color you'd like to select, and then you're you're able to manipulate them, like move them around on the page. So, I, I know Ken discussed that in nesting, but I think this is just a little bit different than nesting when you select by color. Yeah. So select by color, you can. Um... There's a couple different ways you can select by color. Um, the shortcut, so if I have this up here and they're ungrouped, and let's go back here, ungroup. So your first shortcut is down here along the bottom. You have this, if you hover over these keys, it'll tell you what they are. But this one here is select by color. It brings up, and you either have select by line, which is the line on the outside, or the fill color. So then it brings up, so for example, here's green, going to bring up all of your green your green fill. Um, right now we have this guy here which is going to throw it off so I'm going to get rid of him. Um, so it brings up all of your red, your orange, so it's an easy way to bring up all of your fill colors that are with um, essentially all of those fill pieces or the fill color. Um, and I think uh, Silhouette version 3 did this because when the Cricut Explorer came out uh, they were cutting with fill colors. So when you put the paper in the Cricut Explorer and you go into Design Space, one of the nice features is it separated all of your cuts by fill color. So the Silhouette Cameo users like that idea. So one of the nice features is when you actually go to cut, one of the other features is when you go to cut now, you can also do the same thing here by going into Advance, and you can also see your fill color option there as well. So you have two places you can use your fill color. You have it down here, which is your select by color, and you also have it here, which is your fill color. So you have two places that you can really play with this, and I use this a lot when I'm cutting because for me, I love to cut by the paper color. So for me, I it, it's easy for me to cut and say, okay, I want to cut my red, so I'm going to go ahead and turn everything off but my red, and now when I hit send to silhouette, it's just going to cut the red for me. I put my paper on my mat, it cuts the red, I'm good to go, now I'm going to cut my green, so I just turn the green on, cut my green, now I just turn that off, turn my, my cream on, and so I, I literally am just cutting each layer by itself using that fill color option. So it saves me a ton of time because what I was doing is I was moving every single thing off of the mat, moving it back on the mat, moving it on. So now it's easier for me because using that fill color line for cutting purposes, it's made it a lot easier. Um, when I'm working with the images and going into here, it's made it a lot easier when I'm not working, especially when I'm not working with scrappy do designs. So if I'm working with, for example, someone else's designs, and they do not have it broken down for me, to be able to work with fill lines, for example, let me go into, I believe it is, let's just pick, I believe PBBN. Same kind of thing here. So I can easily go to my fill lines here and it selects all of them. So I don't have to go through and hit shift and select each single one. I can easily go to select by color and just go there and it automatically selects all of them for me. So it's just a nice, real easy shortcut um, that just makes my life easier. So right here, as you can see, there's all these pink ones in the middle of this brown one. So if I was to just draw a box to pick up all those brown ones, it's also going to pick up those pink ones to move those, which I don't want. If I go to the shortcut brown, it's just going to pick up the brown. So it makes it a lot easier. The system does it for you. I'm not have to worry about, okay, I need to try to avoid those pinks. So this is a perfect example where people will say, well, we'll just draw a box around it. Like this one, you can just draw a box around it. Well, yeah, but on this one, I can't just draw a box around it because of those pink ones. I would either A, have to draw, you know, shift, use the shift key, or I can use the short key down here, select by color, hit the brown, and then I can move it. So two ways to get to that, that cool feature, but that's what I use this feature for. It's a cool 
one of those cool little things that just was a nice little added feature in version 3 that I really liked. Yeah, pretty cool. So, yeah, you can select the colors, and I think you explained it very well. You know, you could have just drawn a box around that first one, but, uh, but yeah, just like you said, that pink one, yeah, I'm going to use the select by color.